It's Saturday, February 24th at 5.22 p.m. And I look like death warmed over. I'm sure my hair's going crazy. Um, I just got finished working on my yard. <laughs> and if you can see it, me and a couple of rose bushes got into a fight. Um, I cleaned my yard up a little bit and... Um, Decided I would try to prune my rose bushes because um, they were looking kind of ratty. And I watched a video on how to do it, and it said sometime between now and the 15th of March, if I start seeing growth, to trim them. But the part that I didn't listen to was to wear long sleeves. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm out there pruning rose bushes, and I'm thinking about God, and I'm thinking about stories that I was told in Sunday school and church about God, how sometimes he prunes us. And I was looking at this rose bush and trying to think about the video I watched and how to cut things and where to cut it. And sometimes there might be new little buds, but the rest of one of the vines was dead. And so it was better to cut it completely off. And it made me think about how, especially with in my own walk in the 12 steps, when you get to six and seven, you're dealing with your character defects and trying to change and be a different person. And even in just regular life, you're just trying to be a good person. And how sometimes even, like, for example, my last job, it was one of the best jobs I've ever had in my life. I loved it. I loved my boss and everything I did, and then I got laid off, so that part of my life was cut off, and I don't understand why. It wasn't because of me. I did a good job, but I was thinking about other things in my life where God would shut a door, or and it seemed like it was a good thing. So, in some way, God was, quote-unquote, pruning me. And I'm out there pruning this rose bush in faith that it'll keep growing. And this spring and summer, it'll bloom all kinds of flowers. And it'll be even more healthy. And so maybe that's what it is what God's done in my life. And um, sometimes I don't understand that. I don't understand his ways. And I know that he's always on time, even though he seems like he's slow as hell sometimes. And when I'm waiting for the next door to open or the next flower to bloom... It seems like I'm I'm just I'm waiting forever. I tend to be like doubting Thomas. I don't have this name it, claim it, nab it, blab it kind of thing. I don't walk around with all this faith that God's gonna take care of it. Even though I know my heart he will, it's easier for me to believe for you than it is for me. So I get up every morning just like doubting Thomas and I go, Are you really Jesus? You sure? And my understanding of Jesus is he pulls his shirt up and says, yeah, I'll poke my side. Here, put your fingers in the nail prints in my hands. It's me. And I was just out there pruning this, these rose bushes and Well, I'm sorry I got interrupted, but um, anyways, I was out there printing these rose bushes, and I was thinking about um, 
doubting Thomas and how much I am like that. And you know, I am so grateful that every day I get up and at some point in the morning I ask the Lord to let me put my hand let me see your scars and he always does and it's okay I don't have to be an eagle Christian or have all this amazing faith I don't really have to be anything but me and I don't know if that's something he's trying to teach me or what, but I just feel like this. For the first time in a long time, I'm letting his grace in. I've been shut down for so long. And um, people who know me know that I have a love-hate thing with organized religion. I mostly hate it. But um, I am very grateful for the unconditional love that God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost gives me every day. So, I hope like hell I didn't prune my rose bushes too far back. <laughs> I hope that they grow and they're beautiful this summer because right now they look kind of scrawny. And yet I look at those and I think of who I was day one sober and I was just a twisted up, jacked up mess. And I hope like hell I look a lot better now. <laughs> Not physically, but the way I live. I hope that I bloom a whole lot more than I did when I got to AA the first day. I think about her. She was so lost, that, that young 23-year-old girl with two little kids. She was so dang lost. And now I have two kids, four granddaughters, a grandson, two identical twin granddaughters, another granddaughter on the way, and my family just keeps growing and I am so blessed. And God just loves us all anyways, in spite of our nutsiness. I can't wait to see the flowers bloom.